so uh, going into 2021 uh in the last like i don't know week or so we got the disney sort of sent out a press kit for 2021 confirming all those big releases coming you know in the next year and we saw a lot of mcu content which yeah that makes sense like there's four mcu films coming that includes oh. spider-man on top of oh yeah 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 because yeah. yeah. i'm including sony spider-man i'm not including venom and morbius because we don't know what the deal with those is till we see them but um that... why they're popular of course of course that's the only metric <laughs> well, of is popular <laughs> um the thing with a lot of this content is there's gonna be by the look of it because the counts have been done if you look at all the mcu shows and you're accounting for maybe six episodes per but now we're hearing it could be eight to ten for some of the series we don't know like loki i say one division is at least eight I think. yeah i'm i i'm certain it's more than that i want to say it's like nine but yeah it, um, it's at least eight we've also heard like tom hiddleston and uh what is a cart greg said that they were shooting like 12 episodes of loki which if that's the case god damn um we don't know the deal with the first season of, like, uh, what if, but if everything... I'm going to go on the limb, actually, and say those 12 Loki episodes are two seasons. Uh, that's my guess as well, yeah, that they're going to just split it up. Uh, it, we could be in for 36 to 42 weeks of constant MCU content. That's including, yep. you know, the movies and everything. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive like output of content that I think uh, will definitely make up for 2020, which we had no MCU content unless you count. You had how extremely ungrateful. Uh, look, <laughs> if I didn't see it, it doesn't count because I'm a hardcore fan and even I didn't want to watch it. So I, say, I don't believe you didn't watch it. No, I'm not going to watch that garbage. <laughs> I I had it there, and I was like, oh, it's recommending I rewatch the X-Files. I will gladly rewatch the X-Files. So I also got I the last season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that was good. I will say that was good. but Not that I've watched it, because it hasn't all come out here yet. So thanks, Marvel. Oh. Thanks, Disney. Good season. They wrap it up. They do the Quantum Realm thing, which is really great. Uh, so with this giant uh, 2021 slate we have in front of us, and 2022 looking as impressive. And them teasing, being like, yeah, you're looking at like three to four, you know, live action movies a year. You're looking at four to five series a year. Do you think we're finally at that point where this is just going to become the norm? Because you remember a couple of years ago we talked about it and they were like, we're going to get to the point where there's three movies a year and two TV series. And everybody was like, that's too much, bros. That's too much. And now it's like we're doubling what they originally promised. And I, I think some people might get to the point where they, they are sick of it, but there's people like us that are just going to want to consume it all. So no, I've, I've already seen the superhero fatigue tweets mm. come up. So it's like, Oh cool. It hasn't even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're, already we're already at that point. Excellent. It's like, it's like, it's that preemptive. Oh, I'm tired of superhero movies yeah. and TV shows. I'm like, they haven't even released yet. It's like we get it every single time they just go to change something. It's just yep. like every single time you carry on watching it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's to be expected. And I don't get that, like, I, I don't get that perspective that people have on <laughs> it. I'm it's... like, dude, you're watching, like, you don't have to watch all the CW shows. I don't. I watch Batman. I'm going to watch Superman. I ain't going to watch the it's... rest of it. <laughs> it's really weird because, like, you can put it in the same instance as, because, for all intents and purposes, superhero superheroes are modern mythology. Yep. Are you telling me you're going to say you're tired of seeing documentaries and, and history and TV shows about Greek mythology? Because that's <laughs> usually what is brought up all the time. Right. And I think and it's... Most, most people are, are tired of hearing how many uh, girls Zeus have relations <laughs> with as a goose. <laughs> well, I mean, I love the goose, but as I, I, you know, you bring it up that way, and it kind of like what I don't get is I literally have friends that are like, man, there's too much superhero content. Now, hold on while I watch my 19th NCIS like show. I'm like, dude, you literally watch the same crime show over and over 20 times a week. Like, I don't, but, but it, this time it's a different city. You yeah. don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, so. That's sort of the thing I, I look at and I kind of find it interesting that people are like, look, 
it's a superhero show, yes, but I promise you that WandaVision will be nothing like Hawkeye, which will be yeah, nothing yeah. like She-Hulk. Like, come on. Like, like, can we get out of the mentality just because it's a Marvel product that it's all the same? Because I think if the MCU movies have showed us anything, it's that they're all different. They're all different unless they're like a sequel. And even sometimes in that case, Thor, for example, that that's completely different. So I don't know. I, I just don't get it. No, I agree. Like, yes, they're all made the same way. That's about it. Yeah, that's literally about it. And I mean, so they, it's like they always win. You look at Endgame. I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they definitely. I mean, they technically they won, but uh, everything's changed forever. So, yeah, it's uh, not really a victory, I guess, of sorts. It's like, it's like, yeah, you won, but did you really win? At what cost? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What cost did you win at? And I think just kind of looking at the whole 2021 slate, I mean, starting January 15th, that's when it starts to roll out. And yeah, boy. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be real good. And I think once people get their you know, eyes on the shows, it's going to change. Because I remember the same thing with Mando. People going, oh, so now Star Wars is going to be doing TV shows as well. And then you fast forward to ending of season two and all the new shows announced, everybody's excited for it. It's like, but, <clears throat> dude, I you're going to get, like, endless Star Wars now. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have Star Wars TV shows than a two-hour movie. But that's just me. Same. So it goes to the problem that, you know, people are just looking at a list. Yeah. Uh, so that is a long list of stuff. Like, it's obviously not going to come out all at the exact same damn time. Like, you're going to get everything a little bit at a time. Mm-hmm. Like, once think... people start watching it, it's like, oh, this is actually good. You're not yeah. going to think, like, oh, yeah. I'm so bored of all this. Yeah, I think it, it, it goes with what Armin was saying, is that people are, are want, would want to watch it, but they don't want to watch they don't want to have the option to say i have to watch all of these series in chronological order to understand the whole story like no no you do not yeah, i mean you can say that to, <laughs> to the end of time people are going to constantly ask that and they're that's the basis for the argument is i don't mm-hmm. want to have to watch everything well now i mean they say that, but they were saying the opposite when Daredevil wasn't acknowledging Avengers Tower and the Avengers didn't recruit Daredevil. They're like, but I want to because I'm watching this thing. I want them to connect. It's like, well, I guess you just flip-flop against what you're getting because that gets you hits. I mean, that's kind of how you do it. I yeah, guess. a lot of it's for clout. A lot of it is for clout. You can always tell. So mm-hmm. when you go on about it so much, it's like, if you didn't give a crap that much or that little, you wouldn't be talking about it. Exactly. Yep. So... Yeah, um...